Happy Sabbath, everyone. Yes. The title of today's children's story is Lindy the Ladybug Loses Her Spots. Wow. So every morning, just before the sun comes up, Lindy the Ladybug wakes up, yawns, stretches her ladybug shell, and flaps her wings gently. She flies out of her home in the hollow tree hole straight down toward the pond, picks the longest, tallest blade of grass she can see, and walks to the very tiptoe edge of it. Then she bends way, way over until she can see her big smiling reflection in the pond. Ten beautiful spots, she'd say. She loved how they sparkled and shone in the reflection of the water, and she loved how very black her spots were on her very bright, red ladybug body. Lindy would give one more glance in the water, sigh happily, and flutter off in the breeze to start her day. One day, Lindy woke up and yawned, stretched her ladybug shell, and flapped her wings gently. She picked the longest, tallest blade of grass and walked to the very tiptoe edge. Then she bent way, way over and... (gasps) plopped right into the water. Hmm, my spots are not so sparkly today and maybe, just maybe, not so black. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? That night, Lindy went to sleep. She climbed up under a leaf and began her prayers. Dear Jesus, she said, please bring my spots back to me. I love them so very much. None of my friends will like me if I don't have my spots. They'll stop being my friend, and they won't even think I'm a ladybug. They'll just call me a (gasps) beetle. A beetle. Lindy shuddered, and then she slowly drifted off to sleep. The next morning, Lindy woke up and poked her head out from under her leaf blanket. It was a cloudy day, so she wouldn't be able to see her reflection in the water. Hi, Lindy, squeaked her friend Molly. Where are we going to venture to today? Hi, Molly, Linda squeaked back. Let's go to the playground. Maybe we can make friends with some humans. Oh, the humans. Hooray, squeaked Molly, flying a loop-de-loop in the air. In and out they went through the trees, and over the shrubs until they reach the playground. Last one to the monkey bars is a rotten beetle, squeaked Lindy. Speaking of beetles, said Lindy, my spots have been acting funny. They don't seem as beautiful or as black as they used to be. If anything happens to my spots, I won't be a beautiful ladybug anymore. Will you check my spots for me, Molly, and make sure they're all okay? asked Lindy. Sure. I'm sure it's your imagination, said Molly, as she flew over to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine beautiful spots. What? Check again. Count them again, shrieked Lindy. Where's the tenth spot? Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Molly counted as she flew to Lindy's other side. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, yep, nine spots. Lindy fainted. Oh, dear. Lindy, Lindy, shrieked Molly, fanning her friend with a blade of grass. Wake up, Lindy. Lindy slowly opened her eyes to see Molly waving her giant blade of grass widely. Don't you see, Molly? One of my spots must have fallen off. This is terrible. My spots are what makes me beautiful. People won't love me if if I'm not beautiful. My friends won't love me. My family won't love me. And little kids won't think I'm special anymore. Lindy was so scared, and she felt all alone. I just want to go home. So Molly and Lindy flew back home, with Lindy crying all the way. That night, Lindy prayed again. 
dear Jesus, please bring my spots back to me. I love them so very much. No bug and nobody will think I'm beautiful if I don't have my spots. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The next day, Lindy woke up, hoping yesterday was just a bad dream. She very carefully yawned, stretched her ladybug shell, and flapped her wings gently. She went out to the pond, picked the longest, tallest blade of grass, and walked to the very tiptoe edge. Then she bent way, way over, and <gasps> more what? spots were missing! <gasps> oh no! Lindy didn't know what to do. I'll just hide here. Maybe I'm just sick, and it'll go away in a few days. No one needs to see me like this. She hid in her house all day. And the very next morning, yep, the very next morning, was the worst morning ever. What happened? Lindy, the ladybug, she yawned, stretched, went out to the pond, picked the longest, tallest blade of grass, and walked to the very tiptoe edge. Then she bent way, way over, and... Oh dear, what? Her spots were all gone. All gone. Lindy cried so loud and so long that all the ladybugs from far and wide came to see what the matter was. Lindy flew like a flash of lightning up to her bed so they wouldn't see her. Lindy, come out. Lindy, what's wrong? Lindy, please come to the tree branch, the voices called. Lindy flew slowly over to the tree hollow's edge. It's okay, she said. I know I'm not beautiful anymore. You don't have to pretend to like me. My spots are all gone, so just leave me here and, and I'll pack up my things and, and I'll move away to Beetleville tomorrow. But Lindy's friends were true friends. Lindy, said Molly, you're not our friend because of your spots. And you're not beautiful because of your spots. Real beauty is inside you. Yes. You make us laugh. And you're nice and helpful and always a happy bug. We love you no matter how many spots you have. It's you that makes you beautiful. Really? Mm -hmm. Ask Lindy. You mean it? Yeah, yeah, said a hundred ladybugs. It's you that we love, Lindy, not your spots. Those were the nicest words Lindy had ever heard. She flew down from her hole in the tree and got a hundred hugs from her ladybug friends. And from then on, Lindy never worried about what she looked like in the pond. She tried to be the best nicest Lindy she could be, and every bug said she was more beautiful than ever, even without her spots. Wow. The end. And as we get ready to start new adventures with the ending of summer and we're going back to school, remember, it's not about your clothes that makes you special. Mm -hmm. Remember, God looks at the heart. The heart. The heart. And each and every one of us is made and created by God. We'll see you next week. Yes. For children's story. Have a happy Sabbath. Bye. Bye.